Did you know that 93 million adults in the U.S. alone have high cholesterol? Quite the hefty number, isn't it? We're talking about a number so large it could fill up over a thousand football stadiums. That's a lot of cholesterol, folks. Now you might be thinking, cholesterol isn't that the stuff that clogs our arteries like a hairball in a drain? Well, yes and no. You see, cholesterol isn't just the bad guy lurking in the shadows of your favorite cheeseburger. It's also a vital substance your body needs to function properly. It's like a double-edged sword, too little, and your body throws a fit, too much, and it's like a traffic jam on the highway to your heart. Now, let's dive into some common misconceptions about cholesterol. Some people believe that all cholesterol is bad, but in reality there's good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, and even some ugly cholesterol if we're being honest. It's like the Wild West in there. Your body needs a balance of good and bad cholesterol, kind of like how a movie needs both a hero and a villain. Too much bad cholesterol, or LDL, can lead to heart disease. But the good cholesterol, or HDL, helps to remove the bad cholesterol from your body, like a knight in shining armor. So, how does diet factor into all of this? Well, contrary to popular belief, eating cholesterol doesn't necessarily raise your cholesterol levels. It's the types of fats in your diet that can impact your cholesterol. Saturated fats, trans fats, these are the real culprits. They're like the gremlins of the dietary world. Feed them, and they multiply, causing havoc on your cholesterol levels. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. There's a silver lining to this cholesterol cloud. You see, there's a certain diet that's been making waves in the health world. It's like the superhero of diets, swooping in to save the day. We're talking about the Mediterranean diet, so, if cholesterol were a movie, it would definitely be a drama. But what if we told you there's a diet that could turn it into a comedy? Stay tuned, folks. The plot is about to thicken. Enter the Mediterranean diet, the superhero of diets minus the cape and the tight spandex. Now this isn't your typical eat this not that kind of diet, nope. This is more of a lifestyle, a way of living that has been keeping our Mediterranean friends healthy for centuries. Imagine sitting by the seaside basking in the sun with a table full of colorful fruits, vegetables and whole grains, a drizzle of olive oil on top, and a glass of red wine in hand. Sounds like a vacation, right? But this is the Mediterranean diet, a culinary journey that's as delicious as it is nutritious. The Mediterranean diet is a smorgasbord of flavors, filled with the good stuff. You've got your healthy fats making a star appearance in foods like olives, nuts and seeds. These fats are the good guys, stepping in to replace saturated fats, notorious for their cholesterol-raising antics. Then, we have fiber, the unsung hero of the diet, found in abundance in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Fiber is like the body's personal cleaner, binding cholesterol and whisking it out of the body before it can cause trouble. Don't forget the phytosterols, these plant molecules are like cholesterol's long-lost twin, Found in nuts and vegetables, they compete with cholesterol for absorption in the gut, effectively lowering its levels in the body. But it's not just about what you eat, but how you live. The Mediterranean lifestyle encourages regular physical activity and stress management. So, you're not just eating like a Greek god, but living like one too. And of course, we can't forget the occasional glass of red wine, savored in moderation, of course. After all, what's a Mediterranean diet without a little vino? So the Mediterranean diet isn't just about eating like a Greek god, it's also about living like one. How's that for a diet plan? Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What makes the Mediterranean diet the cholesterol's kryptonite? Three words, fats, fiber, and phytosterols. Imagine your body is a bustling city. The bloodstream is the highway, and cholesterol? Well, it's the traffic. You've got the good guys, the high-density lipoproteins or HDLs who are like the traffic cops, helping to keep things moving smoothly. Then you have the low-density lipoproteins, or LDLs, the bad guys causing traffic jams and blockages. Here's where our trio of heroes come into play. First up, healthy fats. These are the superheroes of the Mediterranean diet, found in abundance in olive oil, nuts, and seeds. They swoop in, replacing the villainous saturated fats that can cause a spike in LDL cholesterol. It's like replacing old broken-down cars with sleek efficient models that run smoothly on our body's highway. Next up, fiber. Imagine fiber as the city's cleanup crew, always ready to swoop in and tidy up. Found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, fiber helps bind cholesterol and whisk it out of the body. It's like a street sweeper clearing away the debris and keeping our highways clear and functional. Last but certainly not least, we have phytosterols. These are the stealthy superheroes often overlooked but crucial in our fight against cholesterol. Found in nuts and vegetables, these molecules compete with cholesterol for absorption in the gut, 
essentially lowering the overall traffic on our body's highways. So you see, the Mediterranean diet isn't just about eating tasty food, it's about recruiting these superheroes, healthy fats, fiber and phytosterols, to help manage the traffic in our body's bustling city. It's a dietary justice league if you will, dedicated to keeping our body's highways clear and our health in check. But remember, just like a city can't rely on superheroes alone, our bodies need balanced nutrition, regular exercise and stress management to maintain healthy cholesterol levels and overall well-being. So, it's not just about what you're eating but what's eating your food. Chew on that for a bit. But wait, there's more. The Mediterranean diet isn't just a diet, it's a lifestyle. Yes, you heard it right, a lifestyle. And no, this doesn't mean you'll be lounging under an olive tree sipping on red wine all day, as dreamy as that sounds. The Mediterranean lifestyle involves a few key ingredients and I'm not talking about extra virgin olive oil or fresh basil. First up, let's talk about physical activity. You see, our Mediterranean friends don't just sit around all day eating tapas. They're up and about moving, working and dancing the flamenco. Okay, maybe not everyone's doing the flamenco, but you get the point. Physical activity is a crucial part of this lifestyle, and guess what? It's also great for lowering cholesterol. Next up, stress management. Now I know what you're thinking. I'll just move to a Greek island and live stress-free. While that does sound like a dream come true, it's not exactly practical for most of us. But don't worry. You don't need to relocate to the Mediterranean to manage your stress. Simple practices like deep breathing, meditation, or even just taking a leisurely walk can help keep your stress levels in check. And as an added bonus, lower stress levels can also contribute to lower cholesterol levels. Lastly, let's not forget about the social aspect of the Mediterranean lifestyle. Sharing meals with family and friends, enjoying the company of others, and embracing the joy of life are all part and parcel of this lifestyle. And believe it or not, these social interactions can also have a positive impact on your health, including your cholesterol levels. So, it's not just about what you eat, but also how you live. The Mediterranean lifestyle encourages physical activity, stress management, and strong social connections, all of which can help manage cholesterol levels. So, it's not just about stuffing your face with olives and feta cheese, it's about moving your feet and chilling out too. But what does this mean for you, dear viewer? How can you make the Mediterranean diet work for you? Well, let's dive into that. The Mediterranean diet, as we've discussed, is a treasure trove of heart-healthy foods. But remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's more like a beautifully tailored suit. It should fit you perfectly. You see, we're all unique, with different tastes, needs, and lifestyle considerations. What works for one person might not work for another. That's why it's crucial to individualize your diet and lifestyle changes based on your personal preferences and requirements. Think about it this way. Imagine you're the star of a cooking show. Your kitchen is your stage, and the ingredients are your co-stars. You have the freedom to experiment, to mix and match, to find combinations that tickle your taste buds and make your heart happy. But as always, a little expert guidance can go a long way. Consider consulting with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian. They can provide personalized advice on how to adapt the Mediterranean diet to your lifestyle. They can help you understand which foods are your allies in your cholesterol-busting mission and which ones are the sneaky villains you need to watch out for. And remember, it's not just about the food. The Mediterranean diet is part of a larger lifestyle that includes regular physical activity and stress management. So, find an exercise routine that makes you feel energized, not exhausted. Discover stress-busting techniques that bring you peace, not pressure. It's about creating a lifestyle that is sustainable and enjoyable for you. Because let's face it, if it feels like a chore, you're not going to stick to it. And consistency, my friends, is the secret ingredient to long-term success. So, don't be afraid to play around, to have fun with your food. After all, the journey to lower cholesterol should be just as delightful as the destination. Remember, it's not about following the Mediterranean diet to the T, it's about making it your own. After all, you're the director of your own health story. Before we wrap up, let's revisit our key takeaways, shall we? First, the Mediterranean diet is more than just a diet. It's a lifestyle. It's not just about what you eat, but how you live. This lifestyle encourages healthy fats, fiber, and phytosterols, all of which are proven to have a positive impact on cholesterol levels. Next, remember this isn't a quick fix. To truly reap the cholesterol-lowering benefits, you need to consistently stick to the Mediterranean way of life. And don't forget, everyone is unique. What works for one person might not work for another, so it's always a good idea to seek advice from a healthcare professional. Lastly, 
If you're interested in trying out this lifestyle, there are plenty of resources available. From the American Heart Association to the Mediterranean Diet Foundation, you're only a click away from a healthier you. And there you have it, the Mediterranean Diet, your ticket to lower cholesterol and a healthier you. Now go on and eat like a Greek god, live like a Greek god and feel like a Greek god. And remember, life's too short for bad cholesterol.